Hello everyone, Ari here. I just wanted to give a brief tutorial on exporting a sequence of images. Now if you're using Corel Painter 12, there is a small bug with this if you're trying to make an animation. I will try to demonstrate. Now let's say you go to new movie, just create one with a layer skin of uh, onion skin of three and press OK. The video, it prompts you to where you want to save it. You go to desktop. And once my slow computer wants to load it up, give it a second, please. All right, so I'm going to move the module from my second monitor over to my, well, my primary monitor over to my secondary monitor. And let's say we draw a ball or a circle, whatever. <laughs> and if you go to the second part, you see that there's no image here. Well, you're probably thinking, okay, you just have to sit on tracing paper or you just have to cut on onion skin. The problem that is happening with Corel Painter 12 is that they do not have a fix for this itself. I cannot explain what the problem is with it, but it seems to be a bug um, that hasn't been fixed with the latest 12.1 patch. So the best way to do it is either work around it, just keep flipping back and forth between your drawings to see where it's at, or to use a different animation program. I will try to link one in the description and it's one called Pencil that is very good for this and it works with your tablet, especially if you're using the Wacom uh, style tablet. I, for one person, will be using it in Tools 4 and it's pretty good. So I'm just going to create a jumble of images. This is nothing special. It's just me just drawing on here. It's not even an animation. It's just, hey, I'm just trying to show you what it's going to do and let me just stop that five frames. So if we press play, you see, oh crap, it's moving everywhere. So we're going to stop that. And we're going to go up here to file. Oops. Still playing, stop playing. We're going to go up here to file, save as. And then you have like six settings. Five. Five. <laughs> You're going to have save parent frame as image, save movie as AVI, save movie as numbered files, and then save movie as GIF animation. If we go to save movie as number files and press OK, now let's try to save it as a PNG and then we're going to highlight and name this cat. I don't know why we're naming it cat, it's just cat is what it's going to be. So we go to save and oh no, we get this error message that says number file name does not contain enough digits or starts with too large as number to save the entire frame stack. Now this is very simple. When I first started this, I had spent about an hour looking this up and I was having a lot of problems I was getting very frustrated with already with using Corel Painter 12. This is all you have to do. The program requires you to type an integer in before using before you're able to save it. And it's basically just a number integer. You can save it like this, but what I like to do is go 00, zero underscore and then cat. Basically what it's doing is it needs you to enter this integer in so it can count the numbers up. So once we do that, press save, and let's scoot over here to our other screen, and you see that it's loading them all in one second, please. So just gonna extend this a little bit so people can see what I'm doing. Oh, I guess not. But what we have here is the number of images. If we press one, it brings up the, the basically the images. So it labeled them all as images. It pressed them. It put them in. Uh, it broke them down and put them on the second screen. Um, that's about it. That's all I had to explain. Again, I will try to load. To we'll try to put in the descriptions the pencil animation software. It is a very good animation program. And if you're still looking to use Corel Painter 12 for your animation thing. Um, the reason why I believe that they used it where you have to type in integers, this is more if you're trying to make a full fledged animation and you have to break it up into scenes, this makes it better. So like say you're starting in on scene 12 and frame 500, if you want to continue from frame 500, you can just press 501 and use the same title and it just adds on to the current frame list. So that's about it. I hope this helped you out in any way and thank you for watching. See you later.